Hey there, let's have a talk about this pen. It was sent to me by Joost Appelboom of Appelboom Pen and thank you. Um, this is a Caveco uh, L Sport, so it's the aluminum version of the Sport model. And this is a color uh, special edition for 2022 Iguana Blue. Uh, I think these are fun pens. I've, I've certainly had my share of Caveco Sports. Uh, I have owned one or two L Sports in the past. Fun pens, fun colors, very collectible, relatively affordable as fountain pens go. And I think it has a lot going for it. So I will cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about this fun little pen. We have here in the Caveco collection uh, the Al Sport 2022 Special Color Iguana Blue. This is part of the Caveco Sport. This is a Caveco Sport. The Al Sport looks almost, almost identical, except it's made of aluminum and not plastic like the regular sports. This was the uh, Mellow Blue, by the way. Also a color uh, unique to 2022. And this is the aluminum version. These are 65 euros and 70 cents. That's without VAT. They come in extra fine, fine, medium, broad and double broad nibs. They come with a cartridge. Uh, they come a little cute tin that I'll show you in just a second. You can buy optional clips and two styles that you can slide over the cap and then you have a clip. Different colors as well. I think there's a copper, there's a silver color. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. The advantage, I think, of these pens, both the L Sports and the uh, regular Sports, is that they're very collectible. As fountain pens go, they're not the most expensive pens in the world, especially the, the regular plastic Sports. And because Caveco keeps coming out with fun colors, they're very collectible. And people really like them. Also very practical because they're, they're really fairly small and they kind of rely on posting to be used. Um, I, I was going to show you the box. So you have this cute little um, cardboard out sleeve and then the tin. They've had these tins for years and I think they're very cute. The sports don't come in a tin like this anymore, I think, but the Al Sports do. Uh, it's a cute little tin, has a little bed for your pen, there is a little plastic sleeve, uh, there is a little booklet with the history of the brand. This is one of those brands that kind of went under and then was resuscitated by someone, which I think is very nice. And it comes with a little Caveco sticker. People love stickers, so I think that's always a success as well. Okay, the pen itself. Well, it's a Caveco. Um, it's in the Sport series. These are not the world's largest pens. Here we see the pen next to a Pilot Metropolitan. But that's kind of the fun of these pens. They are pocket pens. They're meant as pocket pens. They work very well in shirt pockets, especially if you buy a little clip for it. A sip of tea, sorry. And, uh, and, and that's pretty much it. The other advantage of the aluminum uh, versions of these pens is that they will develop a very nice wear and tear. So they will actually develop some nice scratches and such when they are carried in a pocket. Uh, which I think adds to the charm. The pen's really meant to be used. Okay, why don't we have a look at the parts of the pen. We have the Koch Weber und Company, KW Co, uh, on the, uh, uh, the finial, which I always thought was a nice vintage looking finial. Uh, the whole pen is aluminum, so uh, you can also call that aluminium, by the way. Um, nice, not too heavy quite pleasant to, to use. It's, it's really not a, a heavy metal pen. The cap has these facets, which I've always thought are quite charming. I think it looks nice. The original Cavecos, the safety fillers looked pretty much exactly like this. And I like that they've kept that look. We have the barrel. It tapers down a little bit there at the end. And that's because these pens are made to be posted. If you do not post them, uh, you can see that the cap is very big, almost as big as the whole pen. If you do not post them, you end up with a very small pen. But if you do post them, you get something that really is a pretty normal pen size, I would say. And I think it works very well. We have here a broad nib with the Caveco logo on it again, with some scroll work. 
and a plastic feed. These feeds, I'm pretty sure they didn't used to, uh, but they now have the Caveco logo on them as well. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is there. I think that's a very nice touch that does set them apart because often feeds are just stock feeds. They don't have any identifying characteristics on them. And I think this is a nice way to brand your brand. That's a, another beautiful sentence. The section is mildly hourglass shaped and you do have metal threads there. The only reason I point that out is that metal threads can be a little sharp, so can plastic threads by the way, but I find in this case they're actually really nice. They feel, you certainly feel them, but they're not sharp at all. They feel quite nicely rounded off. So when you hold this pen, whether it's posted or unposted, for me using it unposted is just very uncomfortable, uh, when you use it you don't really feel these threads cutting into your skin, which I think is very nice, especially because the section, I mean, look look at the size of my finger, look at the size of this section, uh, it's not huge. So it's nice that you can just use this this way. Um, and I, I think it's actually surprisingly comfortable. I've always liked these gold colored nibs. I thought they were gold plated, uh, but I, I could be wrong about that. I found them to be quite pleasant. In the past, I've certainly had issues with Caveco broad nibs uh, that skipped a lot. This one, if I remember correctly, seemed really quite nice. Finally, these pens take cartridge converters, sorry, take cartridges. Uh, converters are an issue because standard international converters, although they are standard international cartridges, will not fit the barrel. Uh, Caveco has come up with solutions in the past and I think none of those converters were all equally awesome. Uh, so you really, this is a pen that you really use with cartridges that you might refill. If you have the plastic model, you might be able to eyedropper it with some silicone grease. With aluminum, I would not do that because that might interact with the ink. And then you get sort of a weird rusty colored ink, which is not very pleasant. Let's do a bit of writing, shall we? I keep forgetting that things are capitalized in this brand. Sorry, Caveco. Uh, we have here the Al Sport. Iguana blue, the nib is broad, the ink is Caveco, I still haven't capitalized it, I'm sorry, it's Caveco blue, it's just a Caveco cartridge that I think came with this pen if I remember correctly. The writing is very pleasant and very smooth, I'll just shut up so you can listen to the nib for a bit. Really pleasant, nice, smooth. No real skipping, very nice. Because again, especially the double broads, I remember in the past I've had quite a lot of issues with. A sip of tea. Maybe those issues are resolved. This broad out of the box was very, very pleasant. As to wetness. Of course, also a function of the ink and the paper. It's not a gusher, but it's a nicely tuned nib. Line variation. As you get a very broad nib, sometimes you get something like a natural italic. Maybe a tiny bit here. I think the downstroke is a little wider than the side stroke, but it's really not a big difference. Um, the nibs typically are fairly stiff, so I wouldn't expect too much in ways of line variation. Reverse writing, for those of you who enjoy such a thing, is possible and turns this broad into a good fine. You can see it starts to run dry a bit, but I think you can get away with a couple of words. And then you take the broad to, I don't think that's even a fine anymore, I think that would be an extra fine. So that's a possibility. You can also buy spare nibs and just exchange them, but you know, there is that. Very pleasant writer. Let's discuss some likes and some dislikes. What do I like? What do I not like about this pen? It's a very pleasant writer. 
And to me, that is the most important thing about a fountain pen. If it doesn't write, that's a serious issue. If it does not write pleasantly, it's very scratchy or anything, or it skips a lot. Uh, scratchiness, some people like a lot of feedback, others don't. But skipping, hard starting, uh, those are more objective issues. And this is a very pleasant writer. It wrote very pleasantly out of the box. I didn't have to do anything to it. Nice and smooth, not too wet, not too dry. I think it's a very nicely tuned nib. Uh, it's a smaller pen and people like smaller pens I found. It's either the, the more pocket pens or the oversized pens that, that people get drawn to a lot based on views and videos uh, that I post. People seem to like this size and it is a very convenient size. You can easily slip it into a pocket, a shirt pocket, pants pocket, whatever, uh, and, and use it everywhere. So I, I certainly see that appeal. I also like the aluminum model. It's a bit more expensive. It's also a bit more robust. The sports are plastic and this is aluminum, so it feels like a more robust pen, which I think is very nice. They're fun, they're collectible, especially because new colors come out all the time. I think that makes them uh, nice collectible pens and they're not Montblanc Writers Editions, which are also very collectible pens, but those are a grand and upwards. These are, again, relatively speaking, much more affordable. Uh, things I don't like so much, not a lot. It's a very fun pen, it's a nice writer. I personally like this color a lot. I think the finish is very nice. I don't really have much negative stuff to say. What I will say is, of course, for the price, 65 euros, it's on the small side, but it's a special edition Caveco. The, 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 the price is a relative thing. And over time, these tend to develop wear and tear. They tend to develop scratches, dings and dents, etc. I think that's part of the charm, but for some people it's not. Well, in that case, get one of the little Caveco sleeves, carry a pen in there. If you carry it around in your pocket, it will develop uh, certain scratches and signs of use. Again, I think that's part of the charm of these pens. These are really meant to be used and carried around like that. But if that's not really your cup of tea, well, then you'll have to get some sort of uh, uh, sleeve or something. That's what I have. I think it's a fun pen. So let me know what you think of the pen. A very kind thank you to Yost for sending me this, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.